Well, some questions don't have easy answers. Is cereal a soup, for example? Is a hot dog a sandwich? But most importantly, at this time of year, it's the question that tears families mm -hmm, apart. Mm -hmm. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Yes. Our next guest has all the thoughts. Uh, welcome, <laughs> Chris Clues, with us this morning. Uh, Chris, you know, we want to break down the best movie. You know, we want to argue about that. We want Because we all know the best 80s Christmas movie was A Hobo's Christmas. <laughs> um, but but we want to break down what we can learn from these 80s movies. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, perfect segue, actually, with the animal rescue. I had my 80-pound pit mix, Bodie Boy, who's a rescue <laughs> at my feet right now. Oh, I'm a huge, huge advocate. I, I, I give a portion of the proceeds of my book sales and speaking gigs to a rescue that saved him. So oh, is, that his, that. is that his picture behind you there? That is, yes. Aww. That is his picture. Bodie Boy. Yeah. Well, that's nice. <laughs> what a nice person you are. Yeah. OK, get yeah. to the topic at hand, sir. Get awesome, to the topic yes. of hand. Yeah, so Die Hard. Uh, Die Hard is 100% a Christmas movie. Yes! Uh, I mean, I after do. all, he's going to a Christmas party. This is the whole reason for the movie. He's party in Nakatomi, Nakatomi Towers. There it is. And at the very end, there is a reference to Christmas in Hollis, who's, which is one of the greatest Christmas songs of all time. I agree. Uh, so, yes, it's absolutely a Christmas movie. We can friends? learn quite a bit from it as well. <laughs> <laughs> what, what can we learn from that movie? Yeah, one of the big lessons from it is if you remember when he is in the uh, air vent and he references the fact that he feels like a TV dinner. So people who are younger may not know that reference. <laughs> no. Those of us in our 50s do. Uh, and so this is at a point where he's being chased by terrorists and he's lost his shoes. He, he yeah. This is not the Christmas party that he expected. Mm -hmm. And uh, yet through it all, he uses levity and humor in a tough and challenging situation. And that's one of the best things that we can do. This is uh, Jimmy, Val Jimmy V, if you guys know Jimmy Valvano. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, this, we're doing a lot of uh, conversation around him right now, the Jimmy V Foundation with cancer research. And one of the things that he said was that you had to laugh every day. Laugh wow. every day. And I think that's a really important lesson. Uh, and the levity and, and, and using levity and humor in a challenging situation like John McClain did is really that is important. A good point. Excellent point. Mm -hmm. Excellent point, my friend. Okay, uh, what can we learn from the Thanksgiving classic Trains, planes, and automobiles. John's my favorite. favorite, yeah. Yeah, planes, trains, automobiles. Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite John Hughes movie, and there's a lot to choose from. Mm -hmm. uh, as I've gotten older, it has really become my favorite. Del Griffith, played by John Candy. I really feel like there was so much of the real John Candy in that character, Del Griffith. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can learn a lot, but one of the things that we learned from him is, if you remember, there was a rant, a little bit of a rant. This is going to be a theme with these Christmas movies, for whatever <laughs> reason, or holiday movies. Uh, Steve Martin, Neil Page character goes on a little bit of a rant uh, with uh, John Candy's character, Del Griffith, and he, he says, you're like a chatty Kathy doll, except uh -huh. you pull the string, yeah, yeah, if you remember yeah. that scene. Mm -hmm. And and it's it's really, um, it's a really intense scene, and there's a moment where Del looks back at him and he says, you know, I like me, my wife likes me, my customers like me, because I'm the real deal. Mm -hmm. What you see is what you get. Mm -hmm. And there's a really important lesson there about transparency and honesty and mm. greeting everybody you meet with a smile because you don't know the challenges they're having behind them. Oh, I like that. And we find out later what Dell's challenge was. Nice, Chris. Nice. Uh, if people want to know more about the 80s, because you are Mr. 80s, I appreciate that, uh, Grissom High School, uh, 88. Um, uh, but where do they need to go? Franklin High School 88. Yeah. Uh, yes, they need to go to chrisclues.com, C H R I S C L E W S.com, where you can learn more about me. And my books are available right now. They're a great holiday gift, paperback and Kindle on Amazon. Uh, one more question Where do I get that print behind you of Judd Nelson from The Breakfast Club yeah. with his fist up in the air? Yeah, I got that on. Uh, believe it or not, if you go on a site called Redbubble and you type in any movie, they have pretty much everything, and that's where okay. I got all of those canvas prints from. Here I'm going. Bad bubble. Thanks, Thank Chris. You. Happy holidays, bud. Thanks. Thank you very much. Stay rad, everybody. <laughs> Stay rad.